Hey everyone, welcome to Box UK TV. It's episode 149 and Adam and Phil M and Phil J are here with me. Um, it's a good week, but only just. Uh, Mr. McKenzie, uh, game of two halves, or game of four quarters, but it was up and down, wasn't it? It certainly was. Um, you know, it turned out being a pretty ugly <clears throat> win in the end from what started so well. And we were thinking, oh, here we go. At last we can... We can relax and enjoy a game, but you know, we should know better. Yeah, and Adam, on, on balance, did the right team win? Yeah, I think uh, we definitely ended up deserving the win. Like Phil mm. said, the fast start. I really thought we was going to put them to the sword and put them to bed nice and early, but that's Buccaneers football for her. But um, yeah, I think we deserved the win overall, even though. We kind of let them back into it. I never felt like they were going to ever win it. Okay, yeah. I'll admire your confidence. I don't think my blood pressure was quite <laughs> as confident as you were. But um, go for it. I just thought last night was the the the, the score flattered us, to be quite honest. Hmm. Um, and I think it, it brought up more questions and answers uh, last night. You know, I mean, we've. We were playing a team, another team, as we've played in the last two weeks, that are vying for the number one pick in the 2025 draft. And I, I, I was a bit confused by the end of it. You know, first two, first quarter, we scored two touchdowns, running away with it. And I think Tim said Baker Mayfield's got time to bake a cake behind there. So much time, and then it's all. Then they they changed their game plan. And they were getting at him left, right, and centre. But yeah. we 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 didn't make any any changes at all. We just let we just let it. We we let them back in. We let them back in. And I, I I'd be quite tired to I, I sort of switched off. Thought, oh well, yeah, wins a wins a win. Three on the bounce, top of the league. Falcons have lost. Great. But you know, I wasn't completely convinced at all. We don't want to go for the uh, Cowboys school of one and done in the playoffs. Then I guess is what you're saying. Um, yeah. Let's, let's keep talking about the defense then, and letting them back in. Uh, other Phil, um, it felt like there were some good performances on D. I thought. Um, yeah, there certainly were. I mean, we had still quite a few players missing, and obviously mm. uh, Antoine Winfield going out of the game, uh, and Levante David was just uh, immense again in the middle of the field. Um, and we had a few other, you know, big plays. I thought. McCollum uh, had a good game. Mario Weather had, you know, decent game. Quite a few uh, sort of splash plays. But yeah, it was just that second and third quarter where, as Phil said, we just seemed to let them back into it. I think so. I mean, I, I, Mary Weather, I thought had a fantastic game. Oh, um, yeah. And dare, dare I say it, it feels like we might even be missing Joe Troy on Shyanka. Um, you know, be careful what you wish for. I think, yeah, there's a bit of a gap over there. But Adam, it felt like there was some pressure at times, which we, I think was the thing we'd be most worried about on the front end of the D, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, that, that something happened in that when they changed their game plan, like, like Phil was saying, that just seemed to stop stop us from making any plays. And it was only when um, Levante was actually getting hold of the game that we managed to get through and stop them. Yeah, because what concerned me wasn't so much the fact that they were getting at us, that we never changed our game plan to suit. And, you know, we and there we, we like Kieran said, we all stood there in the third quarter thinking, we're going to blow this. And, um, you know, well, we didn't. But, you know, I think you can thank two great throws um, to Otten and Evans for that. But it... It's yeah, I don't know. I don't, you could argue all day long about the injuries because I mean, let's face it, Whitehead's missing, Edwards missing, Winfield's missing. Uh, I'm not convinced one or two of them are 100 percent fit. Oh, JTS, of course. And uh, so I suppose you could. Yeah, I came away thinking, yeah, well, they's injured, but we didn't do this, and they're injured, and we didn't do this. But I don't know. I, I was a bit. Uh, Bit confused by by the end of the game last night. I'll be quite honest, you know. We didn't we didn't stamp our authority on a two and ten team, did we? we no. I mean, yeah, I think you're right. I think, uh, Mister Mister M, in terms of the the secondary, it kind of feels that like for me on the defense, that's the biggest question mark at the moment. 
because not because they can't play because at times they're fa- amazing and you know Tyke Smith had a great game you know Antoine Winfield generally solid but maybe not you know it just seems so variable at the moment irrespective yeah. of the personnel yeah it, it does and I think it's been like that for a lot of the season <clears throat> to be honest mm. you know there are a lot of really good plays and you know you mentioned Tyke Smith the the interception on that opening drive in the um, third quarter I, I think probably, you know, was one of the big factors, you know, if they'd have taken the lead at the point. I mean, they'd driven nine uh, sort of seventy yards down the field, uh, taken ten and a half minutes or something ridiculous off the clock. And then um yeah. you know, fortunately, uh we, we get that interception which was a, a great play. Um but as you say, it's just the inconsistency, the up and down all the time. Adam, do you think we were aggressive enough, too aggressive? It felt like sometimes, you know, on, on offense, for example, we clearly had this green strategy. So we knew they were going to be aggressive and we had a plan. We'll talk about that in a minute, whether that worked or not. But on defense, you know, we know everyone says Todd Bowles, blitz, 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 must play zone. Do you think it was the right plays? Yeah, I think, again, we're going to split it up into the mm. four quarters. First quarter, defense didn't let anything go past them. Mm. And then the play calling, it went out the window for a bit because they were making moves. And even in the third quarter, like Phil said, they marched down the field. It took them 10 minutes, but they marched down there. Mm. And it was only for Tyke Smith, which probably killed killed the game with that interception. But overall, it was a mixed mixed call, mixed bag of calls from uh, the, uh, Todd Bowles. I just I, he didn't get the whole game right, definitely. I think you also have to remember as well we're playing we're playing their backup quarterback, and in the end we're playing their third string quarterback, and we're playing their third choice running back. You know, and there was, they've got they got a lot of injuries as well. Yeah, and, we've got the you know, ability to make yeah backups look like MVPs though. Oh, we've always managed to do that <laughs> over the history of the Buccaneers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I guess we'll but, stay with you, Mr. Jones. What what do we need to do to fix this defense then? Because we've got we've got a f- four games left. I've lost track now. I think it's and and we and, and hopefully more after that. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I don't know. I don't know. I, I really don't know how to answer the question really because we've got we have got key, we haven't just got injuries. We've got key players injured. Mm. You know, game changers injured. And yeah, we need to get. Yeah, obviously, we need to get them back, but. I don't know. I really don't know. I was totally confused. Talk about a game, a game of like two quarters. It was just, it was incredible. I don't know, but we we need to vary our packages a bit, bit, bit more, and sort of get get teams thinking. But we we made them look a much better team than what they actually were yesterday. Let's switch to the other side of the ball, though, Mister McKenzie. Um, one person on the forum who I shan't name, but I actually agreed wholeheartedly with what they said said, Liam Cohen, like I, I paraphrase, you're a genius, but stick with what works. Yeah. yeah. I, I think uh, we, we both <laughs> agreed with that at the time. Yes. Um, it seemed, seemed to go away from what was working in the running game. Hmm. Um, and the, the passing game didn't really get going. I, I, I know we, we got a few chunk plays to, to sort of get out of a few um, holes here and there. Um, but it, it, it just didn't seem consistent and Baker seemed to be under pressure quite a bit and, you know, re- no open receivers resulting in the in hanging onto the ball for what seemed like forever. Um, you know, they, they they got a few sacks for, I think. Um, yeah, it's a good point. And, and, as you say, yeah. um, I, I think, yeah, and I agreed with that comment that, you know, we were trying to be a bit too clever at times, I think, rather than just sticking to what was working. Yeah, yeah. Adam, do you think we kind of, I felt like we came away from the run, but maybe that's because Bucky came out. I, I kind of, selfishly, because I had Tucker in my fancy lineup, I thought we should have uh, definitely kept going with him a little oh. bit. Um, but, you know, he had a really good kickoff return. He had one really good run. I feel like we, we didn't have the confidence in him. Clearly, he's in the doghouse in a way that some of the others aren't. But it felt like yeah, the run was working early doors, and uh, and we came away from it. Yeah, they couldn't they they couldn't stop the run. Rashad White, over hundred yards, mm. he was he was like, bossing their defense, and you know we had Bucky out with a few um, screenplays that were working, 
And obviously, yeah, he got taken out of the game. But Rashad Wright, Wright was really putting them to the test, putting them to the sword. But to step away from it, I didn't understand that. No. Yeah, yeah, because he was doing 5.3 yards a carry across the game, which is well above his normal average. So he was having a, a good game, even by his own standards. Yeah, I mean, we've got the eighth best running game in the league. And to move away I can't from... believe us saying that. That's that's so <laughs> yeah. un <unbucking> ears. <laughs> yeah, say it again, Adam. I quite enjoy you <laughs> saying that. Yeah, yeah. I, I, we... You know, you're like, it's very true like, what you just said about the running game. We, we had 150 yards and we hadn't got our best running back on the pitch. Mm. You know, it's... Oh, I don't know. You, you, you asked me, Adam, what do you need to fix it? I think the whole game left me totally confused <laughs> yesterday. By the time it had finished, I thought, I'm not quite sure what is going on here. I just kind of, it feels like I still don't know who this Buccaneers team really is are. Um, it feels like because sometimes, you know, you go back to like, you know, the Giants, that that sort of game or the Saints first time um, and, you know, immense performances. And then it feels like we raise or lower our game based on the team we're playing, which is clearly infuriating, We you know, rather than dictating it. Mm. Well, we, we were there for the Broncos game, mm. which we thought we were going to walk going up blindfolded and we got beaten. Well, it turns so, out they're quite a good team, actually. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, there is that. But the following week, we beat the Eagles. Yeah. So, you know, there's there's no sense. But I will say one thing about our... Um, one thing I, I'm impressed with is it's clearly Mike Evans isn't right. He's, he's, mm. he's, you can mm. see when he goes on the sideline, he's, he's holding his hamstring. He's put, he's bending down, but the other receivers after a bit of step to McMillan took immense game yesterday. Sterling Shepard's doing his bit as well. Yeah. You know, and Otten, as we know, has really come to the fore since 44 he's yards. He got on one yeah. catch. Incredible. Like, Otten, the new I think, yeah. I think, I think that was the, one of the game changers that catch. Because he sort of took the whole momentum away from the Raiders, and um, he, he so yeah, they've all stepped up. And the ball, ha- oh, well, I shouldn't know, <laughs> I'm dreading saying this, but I thought the ball handling was good yesterday. You know, we didn't mm. sort of fumble or drop catches, it was you know, we, we, we did one or two, but not yeah, I was quite impressed with with, with our new receiving course, you know, because you know, our best receivers have banged up and our second best receivers out for the season, probably. Yeah. And uh, well, so, ball, yeah. Yeah. Ball security is a good one to talk about. Mr. Mm-hmm. McKenzie, I, I I kind of feel like Baker Mayfield's a little bit more in the dock these days for ball security. One of those interceptions, it felt like that was a ball that did not need to be thrown. Absolutely. And don't get me wrong, I love Baker. He's heart. He's a fantastic. He is a franchise quarterback. He is our franchise quarterback. I don't want him to go anywhere, but he's been a bit down more than up. Yeah, the in in the last couple of weeks, uh, I'd agree. Uh, I mean, we have seen him earlier in the season making some fantastic plays. I mean, mm. the one that springs to mind is I think it was against the Niners where it was a fourth down. He's holding off the pass rusher and he's still it Rashad White. He found yeah, yeah. Um, and sometimes maybe um, you, you know he, he does maybe. Uh, I think he's a little bit invincible like that, but uh, that that one yesterday certainly you'd think he'd want that one back. Mm. Uh, no, no need to throw that. And I, I might be wrong. I think it was only like a second down or something like that. Yeah, he didn't need to push it into the end zone. It felt like, yeah, yeah. If, with it being a bit festive, it felt like it was the ghost of Winston Past. I think, um, <laughs> yeah, it could have been. Adam, I kind of, you know, on the one hand. Um, you know, you could see me posing a question, rhetorical or otherwise, about Mr. Mayfield. But actually, someone, one of the other guys said it around hanging onto the ball, receivers covered downfield. So, that, yeah, does that explain it, do you think? Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously, they were making it a lot harder in the second and third quarter with the pressure mm. they were bringing. And obviously, with, I think it was four or five sacks. Mm. And, Big and ones. It, so, but... For me, he does hold on to that ball a tad too long sometimes when there's easier reads, easier passes to make. Uh, I just think that's what you get with Baker. Mm. You're going to get a bit of inconsistency with some brilliance. That's what we'll have to learn to live with. And I'm more than happy to live with that because I think it's fantastic to watch. 
don't, here we are, another, another question. It's last night. Last night, I thought, we. I personally think one of our highlights of my year have been my offensive line, how it mm. stepped up and, you know, Barton settled in well and, you know, you know, we worst is obviously a stalwart and, and all, and they've, they've all grown. And, and first quarter, like, like I said earlier on, plenty of time, then plenty of time for Baker. He had low, then suddenly he hasn't got plenty of time. But I, I, I don't know. I think Luca Decke <laughs> was the, the uh, Lion MVP last night because you didn't oh, yeah. hear his name and that's always a good that's sign it. for a lineman. Yeah, yeah, dead right, yeah. But He's he, come yeah. on in leaps and bounds in the second half of the season, I think. But you're yeah. right, the O-line is playing really well because the fact he held onto the ball as much as he did was a testament to it. But yeah, clearly at some point he was going down. Yeah, and all, then all the pressure came at him. So it's like mm. they worked something out. But we didn't know anything to try and, our, and, and sure yeah. at all. And our only response to that was another screen pass. Oh. <laughs> it's funny because well, again, at the beginning of the season, we're screaming, going, do some screen passes, stop running up the gut. And now we're doing screen passes, like, run up the gut, it works. <laughs> yeah, we seem to have plan A, but plan B, we don't have plan B. I, I don't know. It's some... And then I'm the final going, bit. Shaking my head, going, I don't know, we won. The, the final, well, yeah, I think that's right. But we, we always want it. We always want more than we can have. Yeah, yeah. But the, fi- the final bit of the frill is um, special teams. As you know, it's a third of the game. Um, we saw other rookie punters across the league being shouted at. If you're uh, no one wanted to be the Saints punter this week, how dare you try and get downfield and tackle someone? Um, what do we think? I've got to look of Jack Browning. Yeah. In brackets, today's punter. Yes. Um... Yeah, uh, I think a bit too early to say, but uh, didn't kind of um, set the world on fire, shall we say. Yeah, so jury's still out, but uh, yeah. you know, next man up, next punter up. But special teams overall, Adam, it seemed relatively solid. I mean, it wasn't there wasn't anything flashy, but it, you know, there were no glitches either. No, I don't think so. I think they had a, a decent game. We're making some decent gains on uh, kick returns, mm. which... I don't think we can say that often has happened. Uh, yeah, think, yeah, 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 yeah. Jarrett had one for twenty-three yards, and Tucker's one for twenty-five yards. Yeah, both of them arguably, you know, they were kicking it slightly short, so you could see why they were bringing it out. It was easy to say in the modern NFL, "Don't do it, just take the yeah. ball." But actually, yeah, trying to make something happen. Yeah, definitely. No, I think solid enough. Okay, so then it's magic wand time before we move on to talk about the Chargers. What's the one thing? We need to work some magic on or fix or focus on or really emphasise Phil Jones. I th- I think the coaching staff have got to sort of look at themselves a bit here and, and sort of not just plan A, but plan B. You know, sort of uh, we're going into two really tough games, which let's face it, we've got to win. And they, they, they need to sort of look, look at that game and think, why did all this happen? Why did it happen? And um, you know, it's uh, it's it's kind of, I think they need to look at themselves. But I will say that we have got the injuries, and it do, I'm looking tonight. It doesn't look like any of them are going to be back for next week, anyway. Mm-hmm. You know, Winfield's not back. Whitehead looks like he's out for the season, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I don't know. But I mean, you said it all. If we're we're missing JTS, then something's seriously gone wrong. You know, it's uh, yeah. So that's what I think. I think we need we need to seriously look at the some different plays, different plans, and just um, because we are gonna, we're facing quite a good team next week. Other, other Phil? I can't find a better way of describing you. <laughs> Original um, Phil, it should be, yeah. shouldn't it? Well, maybe. One of our founding um, six members. Original Phil. <laughs> um, I, I think I'd just like to see us play a complete game. And um, mm. uh, that might come... You know what Phil's just been saying might come into it. I think the coaching's got a lot to do with that. Maybe making some adjustments. Um, you know, sticking to what's working on offense, that kind of thing. But yeah, it feel, feels like we just need a solid game for four quarters. Hmm. Okay, Adam. Yeah, I'm not sure I can say anything more than the two fields really coaching. Stick with what's working and don't try and force plays or offensive game plans that aren't working. Stick with the the game strategy that is working. 
Yeah, I think for me, got... it's about using our running backs a bit better. I, again, yeah. I said this on the forum last night. I kept screaming, run, Tucker, pass to White. We kept trying to pass to Tucker, which didn't work for another, you know, they kept tipping those short balls. Um, and and running with White, right, it was fantastic. But when the point that Bucky left the game, it felt like, well, now we've got two running backs, how are we going to use them? And actually, hopefully, Bucky's going to be back. Um, and so we've still got we've got three running backs that I think are all starting caliber in the NFL at the moment. And if we're thin on receivers, the answer is use your running backs more. That's right. But, yeah. but it doesn't have to be a screen pass. <laughs> but it, I agree. You know, it, it just seemed to take ages for them to get um, Tucker into the game. Mm. Uh, and finally, when they did, they reeled off a what thirty-seven yard or forty-two yard, or thirty-four yard run. Yeah. Yeah. And you know the way the line were opening holes, you know they, that was there were a number of splash plays, you know with K dot forty four yards, Tucker thirty four yards, and that's not normally the way the Bucks roll. We were, we we're expecting long, slow, steady drives, but that could be you know, be the thing that makes us dangerous. Okay, mm-hmm. well there you go. Um, that's uh, our take on the Raiders game. Uh, let us know in the comments below uh, what you think, and um, we will be back uh, in a few days' time to, to preview the Chargers game. So thank you, Adam, Phil, and Phil. And as ever, go Bucks. Go Bucks. Go Bucks.